Man, we've looked better, to be honest. The Starhawk. The Starhawk looks like something that I would have built out of Legos when I was, like, very young. Very chunky. I get people add flames to the side of things, but this is taking Can it a bit far. Got droids, we need you. ASAP. Just want to check like, and see oh, if they're... Oh, shit, this was our day, bro. <laughs> they aren't around. Gonk left. Saddle up, Gonk. Don't they need it, what, because they have auxiliary power? And yeah, they were like, right? we need those Gonks. Yeah. So they're just like a big-ass Pokemon Go battery? Yeah. Gonk, dude. Bardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. <laughs> Our next steps are totally unclear. Let's go talk about it. Get a little poetic about it. Okay, I'll follow. Hey, you know what's funny about briefing rooms is they never keep it brief. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm also look at that background. Yo, is that Harrison Dula? That is Harrison Dula. Also, by the way, I realized only much later while prepping for our D and D sesh, Davis, that uh, mm -hmm. our Star Wars. Um, these are the people that are in uh, uh, Solo. What? They are part of the cloud. Some of them are part of the Cloud Riders. Oh, Emphasis okay. oh. group. Yeah, let's get the briefing underway. I had no clue. I thought there was like this is like a new alien. I always saw that in this game, and I was like, "What a creative new Star Wars alien!" Yeah, didn't know if it was new or not, but I could have believed that it was. I love it. Yeah, love it. All right, briefing. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us. Our and shit's reinforcements fucked. moving to cut us off. I mean, we no are way we'll them absolutely all. and truly we descended. To stress call we to are not going to live. Republic <laughs> and hope they can End of brief. The Republic is, is <laughs> <brother! laughs> Outnumbered. And the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. And luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the Nebula. Chief Mechanic Zerelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. Dude, she's fucking she'll going on missions? satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. This we is uh, exactly what comsats. happened off screen in we have uh, working, Rise of Skywalker. Is what Lando did. For help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the comsats safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. Okay, I'm really yeah. excited for this one. Wait. If it's just me shooting a bunch no. of TIE bombers, like, fingers crossed, this will be fine. What is this comp? All right, we'll start here. I mean, we've beaten every mission so far. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's why we're here. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial Doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. Vote for Lyndon, guys. The Starhawk Project yeah. represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. Literally, it's I know way bigger than the any Starhawk. one of us. But I promise that reactive. I mean, the I love it because it's a big ass ship. Why you do you do love it? The project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. But like making giant, powerful ships and saying they're like the future of the universe is like an empire move. It's a big sheave move. It's a big sheave move. <laughs> this will work. 
Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before and performed brilliantly. A deadly nebula on one side and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General, I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. These Moncals have like a very Star Trek look about them, don't they? My people. Not they're you just included. they're a little too alien to looking for Star happen. Trek as a race, but like their Sorry, outfits just look very Starfleet to me. He's just yeah, he's just like a pretty he's just a beautifully colored guy with his little lobster bib on. I just love him. Just reminds me of Starfleet Academy, San Francisco, California, nineteen eighty five. Ah, frisky. Uh oh. Oh, Gunny. Frisky's being frisky. Did you know that my people were in Solo? Listen, I know things seem tough, but we've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted this mission to us. To Vanguard Squadron. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired we feel, Vanguard, don't give in. Now let's go get them. <laughs> let's go get them. <laughs> let's go get them. That was a weird. That's a weird read. That last line. I don't know. That I, I loved it. Let's go get them. Let's go. Get let's em. get her. Did she was talking about bowls of Skyline chili. Man, I want some Skyline chili so bad. You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaken that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said... I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferrisk. Why don't you like hunting, Ferrisk? As soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard buddies. It had never occurred to me they felt the same way. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is, whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home, we make it work. So yeah, things look bleak, but when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do, especially with you around. And if we fail, we fail together, and no one will ever know because we'll be dead. <laughs> now that's a win in my book. Ready to go when you are. You know, I thought he was gonna turn against us, but I'm I'm happy he hasn't. What do you whoa whoa inspect? It's just looking at your ship, right? Oh, is it? I, it just it like appeared over that thing right there. I was like, what the hell it's is like, that? Hey, this light. Uh, it's looking Dude, a little. Dude, it's got a, a flash drive on the you? other side. What? Is this a Caesar cipher? <laughs> If you discover the answer, you will unlock the keys to the Star Wars Kingdom. Signed, George Lucas. Vader Immortal? You're in a U-Wing, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these here's on the Temperance. I've never deployed on she a She just mission. looks like Janoris. I'm sure I've talked about it before, but back. it's just the exact same I thing. might be nervous. You know whose name sounds a lot like Janoris? I know. <laughs> but I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. I won't let you down out there. Is that it? Is that? All right, let's wait. Am I the? He oh, oh, why? Why? Oh. No, you. You win. This is a support <laughs> for oh. <laughs> Every time they put me in a support vehicle, I'm like, yeah, okay. Primary ion cannon. Dude, just do it. Lean in, lean into it. You got turret mines. This is going to be easy. They are giving you... Actually, yes, dude. Disable those... 
Mother effers. And then we're gonna assign... rip these daddies up. Ty daddy's going down. Wow, I don't have a lot of anything. I don't. Even, I can't even heal people. Exactly. This is gonna be a shit show. Okay. You know what the U-boat is? It's a me boat. That's what it is. No, we're not helping anyone. That droid rode up like, okay, dude, I'm here to help. Damn it, this game is so sick. It looks beautiful. Did it get a performance update or is it just streaming better than normal? Like, I, I look like I'm playing it on my computer, basically, almost. Yeah, I'm, I gotta say, uh, it looks lossless right now. Is this, can I? No, don't shoot it. That's, that's ours. Oh, I know, I was trying to put a shield on it? That's, that's one of our riders. Beginning docking procedure. No, that's, that's our team, we don't shoot that. That's uh, that's a rock. You can shoot that if you want. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Keo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? Ah, now we can engage in combat. I see. Coming in hat. Vanguard, I'm in. Some mess in here. Stand by while I get this hub up and running. Hey, looks like the broadcast hub works. It works, but the system is a wreck. I'm gonna need some time to get all the commsets back online. I need to overcome my laziness and actually mount my hotels and just stop being like, I'm going to, and then being like, dude, just the moment that you put on that VR, you're going to be like, I'm flying! Turret mines, you can deploy turret mines. Okay, yeah. It's going to it's gonna play the E.T. theme song for some reason instead. <laughs> you're like, what a weird Easter egg. <laughs> huh, weird. It changes the ET soundtrack in VR. Why did they do that? That's what three dimensional audio sounds like. So you're only used to hearing it in 2D. <laughs> in 3D, every music sounds like the ET soundtrack by John Williams. That guy, he did ET as well. Of course he did. And Harry Potter, and Indiana Jones, and Star Wars, and Jurassic Park. Yo, are these ion cannons or insta death cannons? Am I right? <laughs> okay. All, all right. I know. Okay. I you know got to keep up with the wordplay here. Shields up. Go get them. Fuck them up. I have not ever used the ion stuff because I'm that shitty teammate. I'm like, I'll just kill them. Why? I would rather be a sword of death for my team than a support class. But whenever I have a teammate that does ion them, I'm like. What a hero! Dude, U-boat U-boat pilots are the true heroes in this game. I know they're not called U-boats. U-boat hero. U-boat! That's probably what they played on these U-boats. Or U-wing hero. Get poo-pooed upon. Oh! Whoa. You got literally poo-pooed upon by the planet. Or like a long ago moon. That's no moon. That's just a very small rock. That's no moon. That's a bug on the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> They're weird, the space flies. Keep that shit clean, Han. That's no moon, you idiot. It's a stain. That's a Minox. Shit. Just a little longer. Shoot that. 
Shoot that. Oh, they're on the other side. You know what? Turret mine is actually a hilarious idea. It's like you fuck everybody up and then you like clean up. <laughs> oh, do you have a turret mine? I thought you had a. Yeah, yeah, I'm dropping turret mines all over the place. Did you swap dudes. it out? I thought you had a personal shield. He swapped out. Uh, yeah, no, he has both. Uh, oh. No, you got missiles. I think the shield was on the other side. No, the shield is, is where I. The shield is for me to. Uh, when you shield other shields. things. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's did what you actually is. did. You actually swap out your. Um, no, shield. I could. It wouldn't. It literally gave me two options. I have both options. The shield support is clutch. Bless that target. Ooh. You know, you're, like, really not taking a lot of hits. No, they're busy focusing on the targets, which is great. Maybe I mean, their job, their job in the lore right now is to destroy your, your wing, pal. signal relay, so. That's the last of the ties. Blow that U-Wing out of the sky! Good looking I don't care if it's not cool! When you work together, Do it! That really is a sight to behold. You got that right. What's the situation, Zerelda? Got it! All concepts are now active. Keep them safe. The more we have, the stronger our distress signal. We need time for the concepts to strengthen our signal. Then I can broadcast our distress call to the New Republic. Gotcha. We'll keep the Empire away from the concepts. Exactly. Because if we lose them all, we lose everything. You heard her. Keep the Empire off our commsats. More ties headed our way. They sent tie bombers. Ah, that's not good. Nice. And then Ooh, you. That guy just. What is that guy? What are you? He's trying to fucking like throttle trick you. Trying to be like, I'm not moving. Drive right past. Help this guy. Can I not target him? Drop your uh, game, shit. Game. Game. You're right. I should have. Once you get a couple guys, just drop that turd. Turdler. Shoot that. Good work. Blow that up. 
locked on to me. Got an extra shield for you. I'm waiting for the the piece of Star Wars content movie or something where somebody uses the U wing to like clothesline something. Like to like switch the S foils. Or I guess I don't know what they're called in that. But like at the right time to just like take out like two towers or something like that. Some cool something like sick. I am in there. You know what the best thing they've used the U Wing for so far in the movies? Emotional understanding. You know what I'm saying? Coming together as a team. Yeah, I thought also just to like transport you yeah. know, troops. But yeah, but yeah. Yeah. I mean that's useful. The Death Star plans, I guess, were a useful piece of intel. But they never got they never made it into the U-Wing, though, right? Didn't they transmit it from no, there? No, but but they would never would have got stuck there if it wasn't for the U-Wing. That is true. Actually, everybody got there in the U-Wing. It probably was a terrible ride. <laughs> it's probably like D-Day. What's the, like, Call of Duty 2 opening mission of Star Wars in the U-Wing? Where you just, like, somebody, like, throws up next to you into it, you're, like, about to land. Scarif. The solo vibes are there. Like whatever, wherever the fuck they were in solo, where they got Chewbacca in a fucking like sideshow beast man pit. Whatever that battlefield was was brutality unchained. Solo is so good. Yeah, more like so high in in marks because it's good. So high rate, so so highly rated. It's just people sleep on it because of I don't know their emotions. It's achieved a fair, uh, like, little cult following on Netflix and stuff. Has it? Okay. People really, like, when it came on Netflix, people really ate it up. It's like, aside from the, le le what? the legit criticism of, like, too much, this is how this happened in one small period of time. It's, like, so good and... Oh, my God. That guy, I hope you, in case you're worried about him, he is gainfully employed on uh, Nar Shada. Just like everybody on Nar Shada. As per Jesse's campaign. Thank you. Which way, the high one or the low one? Bo, bo, the, bo, 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 the dude, the crank. Oh, okay, the crank. What's his name? I forgot, but I don't know. Jesse cast him in his I'm thing. I'm sure and I he Jesse wouldn't be support. psyched to know that you referred to him as. The uh, you know, I care. Except for in universe, you have no idea. Oh no! But like, that guy is a crank. What do you want? You know what would be my nightmare? Having to be in a room and like pull up a picture of Krang to show that guy. He would hate it. Their reinforcements are running scared. Yo, was that it? That was a really weird, like, chill end to that mission. You know, in real life, not every mission ends with explosions, Alex. <laughs> yeah, some of them just end with two minutes of silent driving through space. We can't abandon it. We can lose our Starhawk prototype. Not the people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How, boss? The Temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it, but don't worry. He looks kind of weird in a, in a pilot's outfit. <gasps> He's gonna go sacrifice himself. Damn it, Lyndon! Yeah, we knew it was gonna happen. When they named him after the biggest dick president, you know, he's going to be making <laughs> plays.
You can do this, Javes. You're cooler than all of them. <laughs> Gonk is like, Javes, you've got this. I believe in you, Gonk. The, the droids all were talking. We think you're just swell. <laughs> the R2 is like, so, do you want me on this one? Friends. It feels like we're not coming back. Years ago, the Rebellion welcomed me. Today, I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jerissa's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. I'm the best goddamn pilot you've ever seen. Shut oh, your mouth. Oh, shoot! Hello? No, but thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. To help. Is Anvil Squadron a? Oh, is that a book reference or is that? No, those are the guys I killed earlier. That I killed like <laughs> I don't know three dozen of them. Remember when it was like thing. pretty? It was like red and blue and green and then like Rogue Squadron. Remember when it was like pretty simple to keep track of all the squadrons? That was well, Alphabet that's Squadron. Because we only knew like which name doesn't make any sense, but like there it is. What did I miss? Loud and clear. Oh, uh, one minute. Less than a minute. I. You were too quiet. Unreal. Less than a minute. I, if I had missiles, that would have been helpful. Oh, well. That was great. That was a great run. They got too chill. Yeah, you that crushed was a great that. run. You were never in danger. Not once. No. That was, uh, that was easy. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. I love that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boats. It's a production of broadcast. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. You got it.